if you have these two things, no one will stop you. You have the knowledge to do it, and you have the passion to do it. These two things runs in you, not even the world can stop you. Hello, hi. My name is Muhammad Nazmi bin Rosli. I am a senior assistant at SK Luagan, Lawas, Sarawak. Last year, I won the Rest Educator Award for 2021. And this year, I am a guest judge for this award. I love teaching. It's really in my blood. My mom is a headmistress herself. Um, she's my role model. I've been seeing how she work, how I, I've been seeing how she spend time. She stay up late night preparing a lesson plan and all. Um, we used to get posted in rural area back in 1999. Uh, my mom was a senior assistant also during that time and I used to I used to see her at night with candles and everything because there was no electricity back then. And she told me that she's only doing her job and being a teacher is a, is a blessing because teacher is the only profession where you, where you can find it everywhere and anywhere, even in the rural area. So it's really inspired me, she really inspires me. I joined this one student exchange program in Sabah. We stayed there for like five years for my secondary school. Uh, able to enter IPG Campus Sarawak in Miri. That's where I get the first test of teaching. Then I knew I, I'm gonna love this profession. And then I got posted in Pedalaman, rural area, Long Sukang, 2017. So I've been moving quite a lot. And recently, 2020, 20, no, 2021, I got posted to SK Luagan, a kampung school. And yeah, I've I learned a lot from all this experience. My previous practicum school, I was able to go stationary shop, just like five minutes from class. Go. I enter my class, then I find out I I, I I don't have pen or marker. I just go buy over there. Now it's the rural school, no longer can do that. It's a culture shock for me also. Four to five hours from the nearest town, Lawas. To Long Sukang, um, it's a lodging road. It's a very, very terrible road. I was teaching the Lun Bawang kids. It's an ethnic who live there. They are very, very wonderful. And the school was so beautiful. It's like a valley, you know? Valley, they're surrounded by hills and it's so refreshing, so cold. And I miss being there. The biggest challenge I face over there is discrimination toward the students. Some people have this mindset. Why, why you bother teaching these rural kids? Why you work hard to increase the number of grade for the students for UPSR and all when you know they won't score? They won't score. You know? That kind of mindset, this kind, that kind of discrimination. So some of these teachers who have this kind of mindset, they become a parasite in the school. And the school admin unable to give them tasks because they refuse to do it. If they will do it, they do it just for the sake of finishing the job. That's why some of the teachers get demotivated easily. I remember I was teaching an uh, essay where the kids need to write about uh, the experience having picnic with family by the beach. They know how to how to write in format and the format of essay writing, but then they not have they didn't have the experience of picnicking at the beach, so they are unable to answer. It. That's when I believe you can teach format this and that with the kids, but you're unable to put experience in them because they first hand need to experience that. Another example of the discrimination is, like I said, some teachers are demotivated and the victims are, of course, the students. So this is the biggest, the biggest challenge I faced while, when I was staying in Pedalaman. Everyone was working hard to help these demotivated teachers. We try hard not let the student get infected by these demotivated teachers. We do a lot of initiative 
with the teachers first and then with the students because if you're unable to help your teachers you won't, able, won't be able to help your students and the school and the teachers are the bridge for the student to see the outside world I myself a comic book fans. I'm 29 years old now. I have, I'm really into superhero and stuff. I have a huge collection of action figures and all. If you're familiar with the X-Men, you know, um, I think method come from the X-Men. X-Men is about uh, a group of people who born differently. They are being neglected, discriminated, uh, and then there's a teacher, Professor X, who gather all them, put in the school because they believe each of them have a potential and Professor X want to unlock it with them. So in that school, they have this one room, they call it Danger Room, where it can make outside world simulation, holographic simulation. So that is my teaching method. I call it Danger Room. I bring the outside world to the classroom. My kids never been to the beach. I build up beach inside the classroom. They never been to the laundry shop. I took this and this, I built a laundry shop for them. Because as I see the things that face by the mutant, the X-Men and my students, they both discriminated. No one wants to help them to unlock their true potential. They lost connection with the outside world. So if they're unable to learn outside with everyone, I'm just simply gonna bring everything inside, inside the classroom. So my teaching method is heavily inspired by the X-Men. I remember I was in my new school and then Teller College contact me. Do you, do you know you were nominated for this award? Like, what award? I thought you're gonna be my friend, someone or other teachers. You nominated me. It's apparently, my one of the one of the parents. Like, really? Yeah, his name is Kwan uh, Jenny. Because I know the place. They are, they have no internet connection over there. I know it because uh, she's one of the one of the parents who turn their living room as one of the learning learning station and when we come her daughter will stand over the cliff and call I, I've been teaching her daughter for a very very long time and said, that's impossible I said like it's gonna be another Jenny another Cikgu named Jenny somewhere else you know because it's impossible for families in the rural area just to do that you know like I don't even know there's a rest educator awards and this these parents know about it you know I met her again after I received the awards. Uh, she told me she and her friends they simply go to the town, found this, we apply. You don't have to do that, you know. And I was already in new school. People might say, oh, this is just a simple award program, you know. But it's really inspired a lot of people. You can only be in this fashion happily once you are happy with yourself, you can only give your best once you be you. So teachers, know, know, know your passion is. What you have to know what your passion, what you really, really, really want to do. If you have this passion, you will give more than 24 hours of your life to do things that you like to do. Because this will determine your life. This will determine how you're going to help your students and help change a thousand more lives 10,000 more left, how, no matter how many students you're going to have. If you have these two things, no one will stop you. You have the knowledge to do it and you have the passion to do it. These two things runs in you, not even the world can stop you.